All right, now to part two of restaurant and food. We talked a little about the null and alternate hypothesis, as well as the difference between chi-square homogeneity tests and chi-square independence tests. So right now we are running a homogeneity test. Now we need to figure out our expected counts before we figure out our chi-square statistic. Now in order to do that, we are going to focus on two things. We're going to focus on our column totals and our row totals here. So we're looking at our marginal distributions. So we want to figure out if this was evenly proportioned, what would we expect in each column here? So we're going to look at we're going to start here with the f people who ordered French food and listened to no music. So what we're going to do in order to do this is we are going to multiply our row total and our column total, 99 times 84, and we're going to divide that by the total number for our experiment here. So I'm going to do 99 times 84 divided by 243, and I'm going to get 34.22222. I'm just going to do 34.22. Notice how I'm keeping the decimal. It's important you keep the decimal. And I might be thinking, you can't have 22 hundredths of a person, Mr. Gamash. But the thing is, this is all theoretical, so we want to bear that in mind. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do next the Italians here, the people who ordered Italian while listening to no music. So we're going to take our row, 31, divided by our column, which is 84. And I'm going to do 31 times 84, again, divided by my row total, I mean, divided by my total for the entire experiment here, 31 times 84, divided by 243, and I get 10.72. So again, this is, what's, this is what we would expect if everything was evenly proportioned. So then I'm going to do the last one here, 43, so this is what I observed. Now what I'd expect, I'm going to multiply 113 times 84. Whoops. Easy fix. Ah. Times 84 divided by 243. And I did do this earlier, which you'd think I would remember this, but I don't. So I'm going to have to come back and do it again. 113 times 84 divided by 243. And I get... 39.06. So immediately I'm starting to see that I'm, in some cases I'm getting less or more than what I expected. So that's what you would do to find your expected counts. So I'm going to get you started on French column here. Alright, so I'm going to do 99, this time times 75. Divide by 243, and I get, whoops, all right, divide by 243, 30.56. This takes a little bit of work to get here, and eventually in the long run, you're not going to have to do all this work, but it's a good way to know where these values come from. We're off to a little start here. So that's what you do to find your expected counts.